I like that promo. Did you, Lou? <laughs> I did, actually. It's very cool. Very, very soothing. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so, Lou, first time working together? It is. Very yes, excited. Very I know. I was tempted to put heels on, but <laughs> I've gone for get my flats. <laughs> there's a, there's a long-standing joke about my heels, that's all I'll <laughs> oh, say. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, as we just get into the show, because it's the Get Arty event, just need to tell you, before we show you what we've got on the show, that if you buy anything off this live hour, you are in with a chance of winning this mm. lovely prize draw. Very nice prize. You Very had your nice. eye on this, didn't mm. you, Lou? I did indeed, yes. Yes. So mm. you just need to make a purchase um, of anything that we've got on this live hour that's actually on the show, and then by about 10 to 7, we will announce the winner. So that's our lovely prize giveaway to start with. Now, I know it's all about the product, but I have to say the price on the screen, what we <gasps> dropped it to from for the one-day special, you're saving <sighs> £45. It's phenomenal for what you get included. For, uh, the paint set itself, yeah. oh, it's divine to work with. Mm -hmm. The paint colours are strong, they're pigmented. Right. Uh, they move beautifully, oh, whether good. you use them richly or do you really water them down the color mm -hmm. is still vibrant and stands out in your project it oh brilliant you've enjoyed using these i, I have tell. thoroughly thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed using them test so of course sakura now secure sakura is a brand i hope i pronounced that correctly <laughs> Sakura is a brand that you know and love. It's a really trusted brand. And these are your Koi watercolours. So you've got the um, Pocket Field sketchbook as well. And you've got 72 colours in total. Mm. Now, normally the palette itself is 99.99. In fact, there it is, just a price established. It's at the bottom of the screen. Please don't go for that on its own. <laughs> go for the one day special because th then you'll get the pad itself. So um, can you tell us a bit about the paints, how much you've enjoyed using them, what they can do, what they can go on? Um, one of the things I've really, really loved about this paint set is if you look at the way the paints are actually laid out, yeah. you've got the actual graduations in colour. Oh, that's good. So if you don't feel strong mixing your colours together or putting a light with a dark. Oh. So if you like see along the top row with the yellows yeah, there, for yeah. example. So you could start lighter and they gradually go darker and darker and darker and darker. You can still mix them together to create another colour. Sure. But it's fantastic if, if you're not sure about how to make something slightly darker yeah. each time. You've got it there with you. And each of the sets of the lines do that. So you've got obviously the reds going straight all along to the purples. Mm -hmm. Another start of the purples going into the blues. Great stuff. Beautiful selection of sea greens and then the darker blues. Oh, nice. And then we've obviously got greens. And then I love the khaki and yeah. the brown shade at the end. And then we've got our traditional browns and our sepias. Mm -hmm. And then not just black we've got like the Payne's grey oh, so we've got other lovely alternatives shadows. yes mm. and then the bottom row <gasps> yay the look bottom at the row. metallics and um, so you've got metallics are they also flu like fluorescent colours? yeah you've got four um, metallics yeah so you've got like a silver two golds and like a copper bronze mm. and then you've got eight fluorescents now when I got sent the set I'm going to be honest when I saw this fluorescence I went Ooh, yeah because sometimes they can be a bit scary oh, do you know what I can't stop using them really I can't believe that when you mix them with another colour, it gives that colour another punch because mm -hmm. it actually uh, can add intensity to it oh, as well. Nice. And it's, it's been superb. Yeah. I've really thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed using them and mixing the fluorescence, not just making bright artwork with it. Mm. it they have been brilliant. I think so. Oh, so. We've got a lovely sample here that's got, so you've got the paints, but you've also got some of the things on there too. Yeah, we've got the paints, the pearlescent paints, which are coming up. Mm -hmm. We've got some of the oil pastels. We've got the brush markers on there. I've got some of the jelly roll pens Good. because the jelly roll pens, as you can see, write on stickers. So yeah, you can change your color of your stickers. Mm -hmm. So all those old stickers that you've had hidden in a drawer that's not been the right color. Yeah. The jelly rolls now. See, that's good, isn't we'll it? We'll go on top of it. So it's mixing a bit of everything into the shell. I think the only thing I haven't used on that piece is the micron pens. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> but I mean, you've, you've put a lot on there, haven't you? <laughs> there now, is a lot. What do we get at the bottom here? We've got some water brushes. They're two water brushes. Excellent. And what you do is you can fill them with water. Mm -hmm. uh, you screw them on, then you've got a paintbrush as well, and it can be a slow release valve. So you've got water already there, so that can dilute as well. Marvelous. Saying that though, you don't have to fill them with. Water. you can use them as a traditional paintbrush and have water beside you okay but you've got two there uh, what I love about that is though once you finish using them take them apart mm -hmm. put them back inside your palette yeah and you're ready to go all falls down and I'm gonna say one other thing it is an ingenious the way they've done it so in you've the got palette. your palette yeah mm -hmm. you've got one tray yeah then you've then got your lid on top right and then on the side here 
these securing clips. Oh, good. And the whole lot clips together and it's solid. Good. I mean, it's very, very well thought out. Like very. it. I mean, they've even put sponges. I know, so you can dab as well along it's the bottom. Good, isn't it? Mm. And then don't forget also, you've also you've got the um, pad as well, A5 mixed media pad, Van Gogh. Van Gogh, there you go. Uh, 300 GSM, and you've got 30 sheets in total. Now, have these samples been using the paints as well? Yep. So this is the I've been oh, using the Van. Go pad. Oh, good. Let's so I've got look. some out of it, some in it, yes. sort of thing. So this one here that I've done has actually got the today's special value mm -hmm. in there. Um, it's got some of the pens. It's got the microns in there. It's got the oil pastels in there, wow. and then it's got some of the jelly rolls as well. So it's just to prove that everything goes together. goes together and works together and enhances each other good and Look the same with this one so i've done exactly the same again i've done i've doodled a bird doodled a heart mm -hmm. and the micron pens oil pastels today's special value and on the leaves down here i've highlighted those actually with the uh, moonlights because oh. Whilst the ink is wet, mm -hmm. you can blend. See, this, this is the thing, because I was saying, oh, you know, th then I, you, sometimes you can think things are one-trick ponies, but they're not. No, they're not. And, they, oh, why they, and you can then use it and blend in. So that's given me, like, the fluorescent tone. I mean, I could have used the fluorescent paints, but mm -hmm. I just wanted to prove that if you didn't have fluorescent paint, yeah. you can do it in other ways as well. Brilliant. Oh, look at this. This is a lovely page. And that's something. So again, you've used lots of different mediums. Yep. And the middle one there is showing the fluorescent paint Great. actually being used. And it's all using lots of different mediums and just creating backgrounds. And then I've just overstamped. So you can create some backgrounds mm -hmm. and then just put your own stamps or your own doodles or whatever you want to do. Yep. On top of them. Good stuff. Should we show one more? There we are. Oh, these are just a load of different backgrounds mixing the pearlescence, the metallics, yep. and all the other. Uh, bits that we've all got along with the show, something. So there's just a, a selection of different backgrounds. And you can see all the colours so nicely, though, can't you? And that's you? a washed out colour when you right. think about it. Yeah. That one, yeah. it's very diluted, but it still packs a punch. It's amazing. Look at these. Now, um, so if you're just tuning in, the value on this one day special is amazing. You've got £45 off. Look at this. Now, normally the sketch box is £99, uh, but it's nowhere near that. And you are getting the book, the um, mixed media book. That's incredible. And even better. So it's £64.98, pence, £45 saving. But we've also got Freedom and we've got Flexi Buy, which is just <gasps> great madness, if you know what I mean. Oh. Uh, so it's £58.48 pence if you're a Freedom member. And then Freedom Flexi is just two payments of £29.24. And also, don't be fooled by the size of these because I know a little goes a very long way. Mm. 711181 is your item number for the one day special. Now, we've also got some pastels on mm. the show. Um, and again, have you been enjoying using these? The pastels, yes. I, I, I don't traditionally use pastels to colour with as such, but however, they brilliant for enhancing the work you've done good um, you can use them to overlay on top of your painting so you can now add a depth of shadow right um, so it then creates another layer as well sort of thing so if you don't feel confident again with using your paints to create the shadows mm -hmm. the oil pastels work brilliantly and I've used them a lot as well because the blendability through stencils because they blend Do they beautifully? beautifully all the way through a stencil and still without losing the colour content sort of thing from the actual oil pastels. What mediums do you like to use this on? Like, is it a certain type of paper or cardstock? I've, I've or? been using predominantly the, um, the Van pad Gogh from pad. Van Gogh yep. and also the black pad that we've got <gasps> further down there. I do like the black pad as well, so you can shop ahead for that. Mm. Again, this is on Freedom. In fact, I'm pretty sure everything's on Freedom mm. because it's the Get RT event. Uh, so your, your Freedom price is just £22.09. So if you're not a Freedom member, £25.99, £13 off, but even more if you're a Freedom member, 641261. And then we've also got some Micron pens for you. So first off, we've got some colour options under the same item number so you've got your basic and you've got the earth lovely tones and you've done a little that's chart on the basic us. one yes. yes I always like to see the, the little chart <laughs> <laughs> and all it's showing is the different colors yeah. and the um, what the nib is like the thickness the thickness of the nib and what mm. you can do with them and and they do actually as you can see right beautifully don't they and I always think these are great for Zen doodling as well yeah but 
they have the same qualities as the black set that we're going to see shortly that you can actually bring it in into your own work so you can doodle on top of your watercolor oh that's good but instead of using black all the time you've now got the options of using colors as well nice so this is your basic option and then if you look on the website you'll find the earth option and they're all the uh, 0.5 nib that's right okay yeah. now um 9.89 if you're a freedom mm. member that is such a good price okay. that is really good a uh, nine one six five at three eight those are under the same item number choose which one if not both that you mm -hmm. want to go for now right so here we've got the pigma micron you've got seven of them mm -hmm. but then you've also got it says pigma micron pn what does the pn mean plastic nib plastic nib okay so that that's your bonus in there so th the thing is like a traditional if you're using your journaling if you were um, using diarying or bullet journals mm. um, however it's still got the same qualities as all the other micron pens Good. within there so you could still use it within doing your own artwork and um, your mixed media absolutely everything you don't have to just rely on the ones above yeah and the bonus in there, you have a lovely brush. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I do love a brush uh, nib as well. And it can go very fine or it can go very thick. And it's a great way of colouring a lot of area if you want it black yeah. very, very quickly. What does the, it says about being pH? Is that, is that good for journaling? Yes. It's pH it, it, neutral? It, it, yeah, pH neutral. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's, it's not going to, if you were writing on a photograph or anything like that, it's not going to destroy it. Oh, it's, that's yeah. really good. And the other thing I have to say, they don't bleed. Yeah. And they're waterproof, mm -hmm. which is brilliant when you're working with watercolours yes so they can go on top then mm. uh, now if you are a freedom member 17 pounds and 70 no 70 what, what 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 no i don't want to put the price up for you 12 pounds and 71 pence uh, that's over a seven pound saving seven four four seven five five is your item number we do have lots more on the show but i know you want to see the demos we are very busy across the show because i mean have a look if you buy anything off this show you may be in with a chance of winning those lovely eco line pens here's the website hachanda.com or you can place your order via um, not via Facebook <laughs> uh, via calling us on 01733602000 so we've got some Sakura pens we've got a brush set um, we've got the fine uh, the touch fine set I like that silver gold copper and white quickie glue pens can never get enough of those black watercolor paper now there's the journals and uh, right so Lottie's got her eye on those and I've already had my eye on the Sakura gel pens because I have run upstairs and ordered them already yes okay so yeah if you've got any questions now if you've got any questions for Lou you want to see any techniques or see if something works with something else I'm sure you won't mind Lou nope, I'll try my hardest there best, you yeah. are <laughs> um, so any questions you can call us on the usual number as well that you would place your Order. Okay, over to you, Lou. Right, I was just going to say that the colours, um, I've done, this is my swatch that I keep with um, the colours, and I've kept mine deliberately so it fits inside my tray. Great. So they're the colours on the, um, the white watercolour card, but then the same colours Ooh. on the black. So even though um, they're slightly matter, we can then see mm. the beautiful metallics going even to the fluorescence and how they actually work on the card can and I give stand them a out. wiggle yeah I'll tell you why because how would you like me to hold this you... our, our uh, director like this just to see the look at the metallics at the top isn't that fab? Well, the top, top row is actually the palescence, Ooh, which sorry, we didn't have a chance to look at. It's the next row down that uh, you can see the metallics. That's it. And then again, if I show you on the white, I just it's always worth giving it all a wiggle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see how it catches. OK, there okay. we are. And I'm just going to, why I'm talking about swatches, the other thing that I actually loved mm -hmm. is the packaging. On the back of your packaging, you get a full colour swatch. So if so you don't good. want to make one for yourself, yep. you've got it there. It's good. Uh, it's brilliant and it's a great reference straight away. Designed right. by crafters for crafters. <laughs> right, so I thought what we'd do this time around is we're going to have a go at using the watercolours and using some of the micron pens. Great. Um, so what we'll do is we'll create the background, let it dry, yep. and then we can then start from there. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. So I'm just going to wet my card and I'm using it from the, the Van Gogh set that we've got. Make sure my paintbrush is clean. Of course. And I'm just going to add a layer of water along here. Does it take a lot of water? It takes a, a lot of water if you want it to take a lot of water. Okay. What you might find with a lot, the same with a lot of watercolour card, that if you put a lot of water on, it might go like that, it buckles. But once it's dry, yeah. it's back flat again. 
Now, just while you're uh, wetting that, I need to give a nod to these because you're going to need to be quick. This is the Touch Fine pens. A third of the stock has gone, and wow. we, we haven't really even shown you these. They're only 11.99. Freedom discount too, taking it to 10 pounds and 79 pence. 309438. Oh, quick mention about delayed dispatch because they're coming from abroad. I believe we believe from Holland. This is everything on the show, so it'll be de uh, sent out from the 11th, I believe, 11th of October. Okay. Oh, sorry, 23rd. <laughs> 11th was yesterday. I, I'm time travelling. Lottie said. <laughs> yeah, what am I talking about? I'm just going to activate the, the paints. And then they'll dry and then you just reactivate them the next time? Yep. I mean, you don't have to spritz them like that. You can just use your paintbrush with water. Yeah. Um, it's just, it gives, especially if you're using the metallic and the fluorescent, I found allowing the paint to have the water just for a little bit longer yes. just allowed it to, to okay. mingle just a little bit more. Now, I'm just going to let that go there. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to create some random shapes with colour. So I'm not doing anything specific. So the idea behind this is not to overthink it mm -hmm. and, and just... Play, Play <laughs> she says. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up some of the, the colour. And, on, and I'm not even going to do very much. I'm just going to add a little bit more water. I like watching it move. Oh, it looks lovely, doesn't yeah. it, sort of thing. And let's do another bit of that. Mm -hmm. So just randomly. Going. Randomly, and I'm not even doing any particular technique with the brush. I'm just splodging for want of a... <laughs> better That's a good phrase. word. Oh, look, I love watching that. Uh, when it moves. It's amazing. Uh, if that, that worries you, get, get your towel and dab it off if, if you don't want to see it. Mm -hmm. And you can then knock it back because we can add more colour yeah. if you're a bit worried about it travelling too far. But we'll just add a little bit more. I'm just going to let it travel. I'm mm -hmm. going to add another one. Up and there. you can really pull it out, can't you? So you don't you have to have it as intense. No, you don't. Um, we're, we're going to do it slightly lighter even though it looks intense now i'm going to slightly water it down a little bit and all i've done is i as you can see i'm just rolling the brush in a haphazard way mm -hmm. and that is going to be my color right okay let's just clean my brush and then let's add a little bit of the green which one should we go for i think i'm gonna go for this one I do love that in the, you know, you get a palette as well to mix your paints in. But you get two. You do get two, Because the lid is a palette as well. Oh, I hadn't realised that. Yeah, good. so you get two palettes. Excellent. Um, uh, and one of the things I like about the palettes is um, when you like doing as I'm doing now, rather than, you know, waste your paint, put it into your palette. Mm -hmm. And then when it dries, you can use it again. Yep, reactivate it. Yep. Now. I know that looks a little bit. Ooh, oh no, it I'm going? liking it. <laughs> I'm liking it. Abstract. Yeah. And I like the colours together too. Um, the, the green selection is uh, beautiful because there is such a range mm. of different colours in there. So let's just put a little bit of the the lighter green in there. A bit more water. Oh yeah, and again, if you want it like neat, you get such a vibrant colour, don't you? Yeah. And the, even though that's a lighter green, it's still standing its own yes. against the, the other colours that I've actually just put down. Mm. So I'm just going to do a little bit more. Do they blend well as well? They do. They blend absolutely perfectly. Um, the sample there... This one? Yeah, is taken... So what I did was I've taken the colours and I've drawn it on, painted it onto a piece of paper, mm -hmm. and they've just blended. And the only thing to make it larger is I've just cut it up. Yeah. But that just shows you how they um, absolutely blend it's together. A, it's very effective, though, isn't it? And again, you can see the intensity mm. and the vibrancy of the colours. Great stuff. Right. So all I'm going to do is quickly dry this off. OK. If I don't have an argument with the heat gun. Uh, no. Um, I'll give you the details and just while this is drying of the one day special. It's incredible, the value. You should be paying, I think it's £109 and some change. There you go. So it, because it would be 99 for the actual palette itself. And then the mixed media pad is 9.99 but you're getting it for a whopping, well, if you're not a Freedom member, £45 off, but if you are a Freedom member, extra saving, we're taking it to £58.48, and it's even on Flexi Buy and Flexi Freedom. 
Now, Flexi Freedom is just £29.24. 711181 is your item number. And don't forget, if you buy anything in this show, it doesn't have to be the one-day special, you could be in with a chance of winning these Ecoline pens. And we will um, announce the winner at about 10 to 7. Oh, busy phone lines have been told, two-minute queues, so the fastest way to order is online at thechanda.com. Sorry, this is taking a while. I want to make sure it's dry, dry. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, because I want to use the Micron pens. Yes. And whilst the ink is wet, that will bleed. And that's not what we want to happen. No, no. Micron so. pens as well are very busy. We've got in the details on screen for you. Uh, £14.95. These are the ones that are the uh, that are black and different sizes, and you get the PN pen, plastic nib pen, Kay. which I didn't know what it was, so I was glad you told me. So, and the pens, if I pull my set, you, you get all the different sizes. Yeah. Okay, so they're all the different um, thicknesses of each of the nibs. Um, and I'm going to doodle straight on there. Now, I normally doodle with the the one, yep. oh one, because uh, I can make a line darker. It's very harder to make a okay. line thinner again, yeah. if, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, all I'm going to do is just look at the picture here and I'm just going to actually then start doodling. So if I look at this one here... I feel like we've got here, a rose bush or something like that. We have, we've got something coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such good fun. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do with that one. Yeah. This one, let's have a think. We're going to go... And we're going to... I love doodling. Yeah, and it's, it's a quick way of bringing shapes into your work. Yeah. If you do not feel confident about, um, well, I'm going to go for flowers and leaves, but if you don't feel confident for actually doing that, mm. it's a quick way of doing it because you're doing stylized that suits you. Yeah. Uh, let's do another round one here. And we'll just do a center. I think we'll do a, another here. And I'm just, not thinking about you know the not actual staying in the lines no. and i'm not worried that the green has gone on to the actual flowers at all yeah and i think we'll do another one like this why not and so this is the naught one is this it? is the naught one this is um you get the um naught naught five which is even finer mm. but i start with the one i like to start with the one because as i said before you can add yeah to it but you can't take away oh, you could over with white paint or oh, anything like that but point. it's just or you could get some of the gel pens and go over it mm. it's just if you don't have to don't yeah don't <laughs> sort of thing so now what i'm going to do is just look at the green areas and think where i'd like to have some leaves so if i have a look at or oh, let's do a leaf there and all i'm doing for a leaf is just like an eyeball shape oh yeah N nothing and I don't mind if I've come out onto the white. I'll just put a line up the middle. Um, let's have a look. Oh, that's a nice... Oh, yeah, it's perfect there. ...shape there, and we could have a smaller one there. See, what's nice is, you know, you at home, you'll see whatever you want to see. Yeah, and, and the paint's moved mm. how it, in the way it's wanted to move. So, like you say, you can add to it, take yeah. away from it. So, let's do... Oh, let's do a, a branch. So I'm not going to do anything too complicated because you don't need to. Mm -hmm. And I'm mixing the two colours in there with the leaves. Uh, oh, where should we? I'll do another leaf here. It's nice. It's really coming together. And it doesn't. Don't be f scared about going behind yeah. an image there. So that, if that's what you were going to do. Now that looks like a nice leaf sort of shape there. And we'll add another one there and I think oh I might as well have another one because there's a nice nice spot nice, nice space. spot there so that is my basic outline right so what I would then do is I would take it to the next stage because you can't really see it so I'm going to go for the 0 0.3 at the moment and I go up and this is where so that you can add differences to it so you can so if I wanted to make this leaf jagged all I need to do is do a wiggly line suddenly around my leaf so now I don't have to worry about doing a leaf with lots of um, little bits you know Great. Kind of serrated bits on the edge I don't know yeah what called, I know yeah. what you say so I'm just going to do that and just go around the outside and again it's not overthinking it it's just doing it 
and I'm going to do the same now around the flower. And because I'm now using a, a thicker nib, the design is starting to, you can see the design a little bit more. Mm, it's really starting to pop now. Yeah. Um, we are a third of the stock gone of these micron pens. This is the black set. So you're getting the seven plus the uh, plastic nib one and the brush nib as well. 14.95, but it's also on Freedom, which is 13 pounds and mm, there it is. Oh no, even better, 12 pounds and 71 pence. Uh, 744755 is your item number. So I'm just going to go around the outline. And I used to struggle, uh, years, if, like where I've gone off there, or to, then, it, then it wasn't perfect that I'd sit there and then have to keep going. Mm. But the idea is just to have fun and just play and see from yeah. the designs what you can actually do. So I will just do one or two more because I have obviously got another piece ready that we can then work on again in sure. a different way. Let's do this top one here. I see, I like a sketchy line because, I mean, I, I don't but I cannot draw in a straight line, I, no matter how much I try. So what I like about these fine nib pens is you can get that sketchy look and it looks right. Yes, and because these are stylized flowers and leaves, it doesn't matter. I can write in a straight line, I can't draw in a, yeah, yeah. a straight line. It's very bizarre, like you say. And then it, it takes a little bit of pressure off yourself as well, because if you go around the outside and just do a, a doodle effect, you're not then worried about that you haven't done the straight line and then you sit there and go over and over mm. and over it sort of thing. So what I would then do is I'm going to go up one, let's go for the 0.8 for the moment. And I'm going to look now where I think there's light and dark. Um, I'm not going to say there's the lights coming there, mm. you know, and that's, I don't, I just put it where I like it. Yeah, I'm not very good at that. No, I just, just where it suits me. Yeah. So now I can use a thicker pen and I'm going to go in. What number pen's that? This is the 0.8. Okay. If you really want an intensity, the, um, the brush. Oh, yes. The, it's brilliant. So now where I've gone with the 0.8, I can add a little bit more colour and a little bit more darkness around. So I'll just do this, the one flower and then we'll move. Okay, so I'm now putting it the where I want to see the colour. Let's go around that one. And we can then make it as dark. As I said, the, the brush is great if you want to add loads mm. of different colour. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do some random doodling. These could be berries. They could be anything you want them to be. Yeah. But in, in doing the random doodling, you're filling in the space mm. where you want it to be. So where I've got the black here, I'm just going to go in there. And again, I'm not being over precise about where I do it. And then we go around here. I'm going to go down there. Now, if you're just joining us, the paint that you're seeing on this um, cardstock. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. So the details for, for the paints, the one-day special, that has just popped on screen. Um, and you've got 72 paints in that palette. Uh, it's got a really nice secure lid. Um, and also it's coming to you with the A5 mixed media pad. Now, normally the paint palette itself is 99.99. So to price establish, we've popped that at the bottom of the screen. Um, but you're only paying 64.98 or 58 pounds and 48 pence if you're a Freedom member, and you can also pay it in two instalments if you're a Freedom member. Two payments of 29.24, 711.181. Fantastic value. It's super busy, which I'm not surprised about. I mean, this is a also you might have one of these palettes at home, but I tell you what, this is a great gift to give to somebody. Oh, it, it's an absolutely superb, and especially getting the paper pad with it as well. Mm. Sorry, I've gone all quiet because I'm just, oh, a, you know, right. when you, you're in a doodly zone yeah. sort of thing, I do. So I'm just building up, as you can see, and I can then go through and I can go over my leaves. And, th and the goal behind this is not to worry about it being straight, mm -hmm. just do, you know, what you want to do. I think that there's nothing worse when you put pressure on yourself to put you know, the most yeah. perfect thing that you think. Because we want to enjoy it, not go, oh, I don't like and, that. And milk. this work is for you to start doing, you know, to do for you. And mm. the more you, you doodle and the more you see within your colours, the more you'll, you, you'll experiment with other things. So if we go around 
this flower, as you can see. And that's all I'm doing is where I'm just doing circles. Now I could, you could do whatever shape you like. Mm -hmm. um, I like circles. I'm a little bit obsessed with circles well, at the pleasing, moment. Well, they're aren't they? It's the infinity of them, if you know what I mean. Um, now I, I should just say uh, that we are 20% of the one-day special stock gone in just the first, well, oh, half wow. an hour. Uh, it, it is, like you said, it's, it's a great Christmas present, but mm. it's also, it's a great, if you want to start out in watercolours and you don't know, you have got, as we said, with all the way the colours have been laid out and done, mm. you've got all the graduations of colours there for you, yeah. so you can be start being brave straight away with actually adding light and darker mm. and the shade concept. So it's a water, it's a bit like when you get your alcohol markers. Yeah, and you've got And you system. buy them, you've got the system. This, this is what this reminds me of. Oh, yeah. You've got that actual system all there together for you mm -hmm. in one go. Yeah, it's good. And it's portable. What's not to love about that? With two paintbrushes. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. As you can see, I've thoroughly enjoyed um, playing with it. It's been, it's been, yeah, it's been very rewarding and it's been a great learning curve as well because it, it's pushed me a little bit further out than I would have normally done, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Um, I mean, I love a bullet journal. Mm hmm I'm a notebook yeah. freak and there's nothing more than a bullet journal that I love and this has really made me realise how I can incorporate it. Yeah. So as you can see I've built up the design and mm -hmm. I've made my flower stand out more and more Yeah. and the idea with this technique really is to say that now if you're confident and you can use your paints and you can add your shading and you can add your light do but yeah. if you're not all we've done is made the flower stand out mm -hmm. just by making the lines gradually darker and darker and darker and just by a little bit of swiggling and then adding some circles where I'd like the different darker areas to be so it doesn't have to be I said precise so you can go around and add and do and when I'm coloring I'm not actually coloring as you can see precisely I'm just doing the random coloring yeah from there got you so you would carry on and you would build up your piece and you would do that okay. for absolutely everything now I could sit here and stand <laughs> here for ages and do it but let's move on sure so that's one that I've done and as you can see I've gone round all the flowers mm. and I've gone round all the leaves and all I've done with this top one here is I've then gone back in with the paint. Lovely. What to just enhance it? Just even to enhance more? the leaf. So if you want to make it stand out a little bit more as a leaf, if I just move my pen oh, out of the way. That's a good idea. Now if, you, we've also got on the show, which I should say, if you don't want to use the black, if black black can be quite scary because if you mm. go wrong, yeah, you there. suddenly go. Oh. Um, but the micron pens that are coloured. Now I've just done the leaves. There's two different sets. Yes, one or basic. But there's two different greens. <gasps> ah. So one's slightly darker than the other. Right. So you could actually, instead of going around the black, mm -hmm. so where I did it with the, the very fine line of black, you could have then gone over with the greens. Nice. And done your leaves that way for your outline. Yeah. Very nice. In fact, now you've mentioned them, <laughs> I will show you them because we're busy for these as well. We're busy across the whole show, to be honest. Now, you've got the two different um, colorways. So you've got your basics and your earth tones. Basics is approaching 60%. 60, really? Mm. Um, so you're liking the basics. There we are. Now, the earth tones approaching 40%. Uh, that is 1099 Oh, do we have a freedom discount on this one? Oh, they're a bargain, I'm being told. Here it is, £9.89. Either one. So either of these are under the same item number, 916538. Marvellous. So now going back to the I'm just going back over. Special. Um, I mean, I was saying before when I do palette, they, mm. these are all the colours. So rather than take from my paints, I'm going to try and take from the palette yep. and add to it. So I can now go along and I can add a little bit more of the green. Yep. I'm not worried that you know it's precise or not precise if if that makes sense mm -hmm. now i'm going to say with the micron pens obviously this is dry if this was wet you would you could actually use them to shade with oh if that that makes sense do you have to work reasonably quick though before um, they dry? if you're using watercolor if your paper's already wet yeah. no you're fine oh good if it was dry yes then you probably would yeah um so all i'm going to do is just add a bit more and then i just want to do, show one other I'll, we will finish it, I promise. Oh, no, it's all good. I just um, love it developing. And I love how literally everything on this show 
will work yep. together. They will all so work. So I'm just going to knock that back a little bit and just bring in another bit of green. Okay, as you can see. So let's do a bit more there. Mm -hmm. So we're just making it n now appear. So from the random splodges. So this, this background, mm. I've actually muted it, whereas this background is uh, a little bit darker. So I'll finish this one later on. Yeah, so sure. you can actually see the contrast like tomorrow. That. Yeah, that would be great. Um, so you can see the different contrast between the two. Let's bring some lighter colour in. I need a little bit of the lighter. I'm going to put a bit of the lighter there. In fact, what I'm going to do is bring in a touch of the fluorescent. So where I could go over there with the fluorescent, the fluorescent adds, there it is, a nice little bit of... So it doesn't stand out as fluorescent, but it actually makes... Oh, it does make it pop a little bit. Makes it pop, yeah. <clears throat> but I now like the contrast between what was, like you said, the pool of colour, and now you're picking out the leaves and making them a bit more intense. Yeah, mm. I mean, you could leave it like that. If you if you could treat it in one or two ways, we could treat it as a, um, a watercolour piece, yep. or we could treat it as a doodle piece. Right. You know, the, the choice mm -hmm. is ours to, to... Well, it's your piece of work. Do it as you want, sort it's of thing. your things. artwork. Yeah. So I'm just going to quickly fill in a few more of the leaves. Okay. And now the coloured microns that we'd literally just flashed up. No, right, the basics are limited stock. <gasps> limited. I mean, they are superb. I mean, if you're into journaling, they're obviously absolutely superb because you've yep. got all the colours there. But they are great for this type of work as well. As I said, you, you've got the basic colours there that yep. you can actually incorporate in. I mean, I've done purple and there is a purple Ooh, in there that I could nice. have gone around the outside of my flower in the purple as well. Yeah. So there's lots of... Right, so I'm just going to oh, add a little earth, bit more. earth tones as well on those micron pens are catching up there, 70%. <laughs> so basics limited or 70% gone on the earth tones. Uh, again, just a reminder that everything on the show is going to be dispatched from the 23rd of October because it's coming from Holland, we believe. And it also has a freedom price, nine pounds and eighty-nine pence. Nine one six five three eight. Right, I'm just gonna reach over and grab <laughs> my favourite favourite. <laughs> Sorry, I'm slightly obsessed. Right, so in here, this is my stardusts, and this are the moonlights mm. and the metallics. Yeah. And all I've done is separated them out. You don't have to, because actually on the I took me about three days to actually twig, but on the actual nibs there, it's yeah. got like a little moon and it's got like a little star. To, you know, and you I just like think that. simple yes. things. But these can be incorporated now and they can be used to actually enhance, but water, yeah. as water. So let's go, let me have a think. Which one should we go to? There's a really nice line in the stardust. So where I've got some of the green now, I can colour in and I'm going to go around the edge of my black doodling. Now, you can buy these pens in two different ways. There's a pick and mix where um, you've got packs of three and you can choose three packs of three. Uh, or there is a mega mix pack of 24 pens, which is at the bottom of the screen. And then we were saying earlier that how we pigeonhole things into just certain... Yeah. But these, so now I've got the glitter, because it's stardust, and because it's still damp, I can start to gradually bring it out and if you can see you can see the glitter I don't know if the camera can pick can you we, see the glitter if you wiggle it oh. there oh. We are. can you see oh we, we can see it here it's just, just there, there. Hang can on. You see? Yay. Oh, yay. got there in the end That's so it. that now is a quick way of adding glitter to your project nice see I've never used these with water oh so I'm gonna be you doing can that now, now we've now added glitter to our project without getting a lots of glue out and glitter and I have to say because I've working in a school before mm. uh, as my previous jobs the glitter we got in school was you could exfoliate yourself with sort of thing. it, was, it <laughs> right. was just horrible yeah but it it didn't have a glitter it didn't have that fine mm. glitter but it meant lots of mess glue out glitter everywhere and this is a nice way of using glitter mm. without having all the mess That's so good. and you're doing it to, to your project so I can add a little bit more in there so I'm just going to go around and blend it in and then I can blend it on top of the others mm. and it works as you can see it's working on top of the black micron 
it's working on top of the watercolour paint that I've done and none of it and each of it still keeps their own identity it's right. not lost does, it, does that make sense yeah well, I hope no, I'm making... he, oh, yes you are you're totally making <laughs> I'm totally you. following <laughs> oh kidoki stock update we are technically sold out <gasps> on both options of the coloured micron pens wow so if you've got these in your basket do check out to secure that it's yours if any bounce back we'll let you know but I think you're seeing the value and how useful they are. Now, um, we've still got the black set, the one that comes with the plastic nib. Here they are, coming onto the screen. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll grab this. And um, these are they. <laughs> these <laughs> the stock, up set, stock, uh, stock update sorry, is 70%. They were just chuckling at my expression, these are they. These I haven't they. said that for years. It's my parents say that, and I've picked it up from... Uh, right, so, as you can see, I've now just added the, the glaze to it, and I can do exactly the same if I wanted to with the metallics or mm. the moonlights. And with the moonlights, you get three fluorescents, so you've actually got another Ooh. layer I wanted to do there, and especially if you're working on the darker card. Yeah. I'm going to carry on using just, let's do a little bit more. And then, so I can use now... Oh, I love this purple. ...and go around. Now, you can colour with it and just leave it as is. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, and it works, and it packs a punch. But it's nice that you can actually then blend it out to go in, and then... Oh, you can really see that. Look at that. And it's got such a lovely, fine glitter that you've now made that spread out even yeah. more. I, Lottie just asked me, why am I hooked on the Jelly Roll <laughs> pens? I think the reason being because they glide beautifully, mm. you get massive impact of colour um, and, I, and I've obviously I love the glitter aspect because they're my favourites the, oh, the stardust ones yeah they're, they're what I and you do get such a lot of glitter in there or shimmer you know in there yeah. so it's all really packed in and I've also got to say they go a long way they do well so when this channel first started four years ago that's when I bought my first set I've only topped up today because <laughs> a couple of colours I've finally got to, and I have used them for the four years, so you, do you know what I mean? That's my testament well, to We all them. have a go-to colour, don't yeah, we? So yeah. we, always, we always have a fallback that we're going to. Yeah. So that was just using the stardust on top of it and adding a little bit of yeah. sparkle. But we can also... <clears throat> I'm not saying I've like, coloured every single day for four <laughs> years, just to put that disclaimer out there, but what I am... Yeah, ASA, sorry. I'm just saying, when I feel like picking up the pens, they're still going, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I always put my foot in it. So what I'm going to do now is I've just picked up the darker of the gold. Yeah. And I'm just going to add that in over the top. And it is a beautiful colour. Now I could make that a, a little bit more translucent by yep. adding more water and we'd see a little bit of the green mm. through it. Nice. But it's it's strong enough in its own right that it will actually go on top and, and, and still be its own colour. Yeah. So you'll find this back in the one day special now. This is the metallic in the one day special. Yep. You get four metallics, like two different types of light gold yep. and, a, and the deeper gold and then like the copper. The silver is beautiful as mm. well. The silver mixes wonderfully with um, the other colours yeah. to create um, a lovely inference mm. sort of look to, to work. We're approaching a quarter of the stock of the one day special in just three quarters of an hour. A huge saving for that palette alone, you'd be paying £99. But well, you've also got the mixed media pad with 30 sheets in 300 GSM and you're only paying £64.98 but 50, I think it was, sorry, eight pounds and some change if you're a Freedom yeah. member. And it's on Flexi Freedom. Two payments of 29, 24, 711, 181. All right, and one of the other colors I've really fallen in love with in here mm. is one of the fluorescents, the, the purpley Ooh, yeah, let's fluorescent. Um, so if we have a look there, and then I'll water it out a bit more. But oh, it's intense. It's a beautiful, but it doesn't look fluorescent. No, it doesn't. It's actually worked with the other paint underneath mm. um, to do that. So we can just blend that out. Oh, that looks lovely. And take it a bit further. And it blends superbly as well within, within all the other... That's quite a nice colour for a bit of shadowing as well, isn't it? it? Yeah. As I said, it... When I've layered on top of other colours, as mm. you've seen, it adds a, a little bit of an extra punch. Yeah, 
if that's what you, you want to do quickly. Because mm. sometimes we all love to make and we all love to create, but sometimes we don't always have the time. And that can be equally as frustrating. Yes. Because you then just go, oh, I won't bother then mm. if it's going to take too long. Yeah. But here you can. Right, I'm just going to put some in here. Now, this is where we went over with the stardust. Oh, yeah, I want to see what happens here. But, and if you notice, the stardust is still sparkling through. Good. Can you see? Yeah. So even though oh, I've yes. gone over with another colour of paint. Mm, and a different medium. Yep. I've still got the actual twinkling and the sparkling of the, the stardust. Right, so let's see what else shall we do. What else can we bring in? You know, we need to go, ooh, the, anything. This is what it's been fancy. like all week. It's like, ooh, <laughs> what, what shall I use first sort of thing. It's been really... We've only got 12 minutes left. <gasps> Where's really? the time gone? Ooh. So, building it up bit by bit. So we've gone from a splodge. Yep. So I like to see the difference. So we've gone from a splodge and then we've gradually built it up. And all I've done is to create, because I didn't know where I wanted light and dark to be. Yeah. Um, and I've got a terrible tendency that I put on the dark and go, oh, it's not quite dark enough. Yeah. And I put more and more and more. And then I'm left with a like a, a black hole with a colour in the middle. Yeah. So I know what you mean. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Right, I'm going to quickly dry that off. Sure. Can I ask you about mm. these? Yes, certainly. Oh, right. Um, we are approaching 80% of the black micron pens gone. <gasps> I just wondered what you'd used on the black card while you were drying that. That. Uh, now, we think the black card, that the only thing that should go with it is um, the metallics. OK. That isn't. That is the actual um, one day special. Is it? The paints, with they look no, great on black. With no... Um, of the metallics or the... Fl all I've done is I've added a few bits of fluorescent but they are all from the one day special. And then what I've done is we've got a glaze pen uh, in the thing and I've just gone over some of them with a glaze pen. So they look at, so this is actually the one day special paint, it's yep. amazing. And you'll find we do have, as part of your pick and mix as well, uh, there is, uh, yeah, your glaze pens. There's clear glaze as well on the <laughs> website. And then this is your black watercolour paper pad. Well, it's not paper, is it? Because uh, it's oh, 300 no. GSM. And it's thick, yeah. yeah. It's good weight. That is great. And it's £9.71 if you're a Freedom member. 879520. Sorry, go ahead. Nope, go no, ahead. I didn't want to. I know my key comes quite loud. Oh, it's all right. I didn't want to work over you. Oh, right. Lottie's reminding me. While. Well, um, Lou's drying, you have three minutes now to make a purchase, if you haven't already, of anything off this show, and then you will be, um, uh, we'll pick at random somebody who will win these Ecoline brush pens, which I know Lou's had a eye on. <laughs> so we will announce, be announcing in about three minutes' time who has won this set of Ecoline pens. Good stuff. Right. OK, so what I thought we'd do to prove... Now, that's dry. Yeah. I can actually go back on with my micron pens. I can actually go back in with my jelly rolls. Yeah. And still carry on building more and more and more colour so without good. ruining what's so below, all, if that makes sense. They're all friends. They yeah. all work so together. So I could go back in again, say, like with the stardust, as you can see, and it's not taken away from its intensity if that's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm just going to quickly grab a stencil. I've just got one or two to choose from. Which one shall we go for, just to show you? Now, if you have done something and then you you look at it and go, ooh, I don't like it, I found this is where the um, oil pastels have come in. Oh, good. All right, that's what I'm after. Well, this is a nice one. It, it was a huge one, as you can see, I've cut down. Yep. So, let's lean across. So, with the oil pastels, I can now... So, if I'd have done an area that I was a little bit too dark or didn't work as I wanted it to do... I, you can do... So I'm just going to take a stencil and one of these. So what colour should we go for? I think we'll anything you like. <laughs> you know when you go, ooh. I think we'll go for a green, a little bit of white, and maybe that purple. You've got some great colours in this. Look at this. Mm. Beautiful 50 of your oil pastels. £22.09 if you're a Freedom member, saving £16.90. Uh, 641 Two six one is your item number. Right, let's go back okay. to you. One of the, the benefits of using a stencil is if you don't feel like you're confident enough to do anything freehand, mm. you've got a stencil. Yeah, it's good. just use that sort of thing. So now I've just put some green on, and yeah. I'm just going to. Is this the best way to do? You think to do it to rub it in with your fingers? 
there's lots of different ways <laughs> for speed yes yeah, yeah, right. um i've used cotton buds dipped in like different types of mediums and Ooh. stuff and, and spread out the oil pastels Ooh, that way okay. as well the set comes with two blenders ah, good, so you can good. go over with those and they can blend out with those as well okay so take away i can add now some of the green so i'm adding some more i like that that looks good fun now yeah and i'm i'm not overly thinking where I'm doing it and because it's the oil pastels there's a lot for a tiny amount mm. I'm spreading a lot through a lot of the stencil so I'm getting like darker to lighter so I've got darker ones here but then it's gone lighter and lighter mm. as I've gone from there nice so I'll just put a few more here it's a great way of adding another texture to your project and a disguising mechanism oh I see so if there's an area that um, you, you don't particularly like you can actually cover it up because suddenly now you notice the dots yeah. so if that was a flower that I didn't particularly like the first thing you see is the actual dots right yeah makes sense yeah so you can take away from something that you're not quite happy about so we just do one or two more and these are equally as vibrant on the black Yes, which I'd, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing, actually. So if I do a few white... Oh, I bet that's going to really pop over the Choose a different finger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, I've done that before. And gone, oh. I, just, I was just about to do it and went, oh, oh. So... Now, the other thing you could do, I've used oil pastels, you could go and grab your jelly rolls again mm -hmm. and draw around your circles. <gasps> yes. Um, especially the white glaze that's in there because mm -hmm. then you've got a nice domed effect mm -hmm. as well which is all I did on those um the bubbles the bubbles was I just took the plain glaze and went over it so it highlighted some parts so you can see with the white now I like that it's raised a bit as yeah. well it's like not puddled because it can't because it's not uh, no and it's, it's given that bubble effect where it looks like you can still see through a yeah. little bit so we'll do one or two more mm -hmm. Sorry, this project seems to be taking forever. Oh, no, but lo I've loved watching it grow. I know everybody else has at home. And I just wanted to prove that, you know, they all do work together. You know, yeah. As you were saying, don't pigeonhole your jelly rolls mm -hmm. and, and you, you use everything together. Now, I've used the wrong finger, so the white's going to be green. <laughs> but as good. you can see from there, so we've taken... Let's put that over there. Now, the other thing you could do, if you, I mean, look at this. Right, the edges. I mean, a quick way. I mean, you can get your ink pads out. That's fine. But I can still do that. It's... And that, I think that grounds it then as well. Or it pulls your eye in. And I can then blend with my finger. Mm -hmm. You can get different um, blending material. I mean, I can get... I could have used the blender that's in the set. I'm just obsessed with using my finger at the that's moment. That's, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you can, so I can add a little bit more colour in places. Yeah and blend out and that looks cool and it's just another way like you say of grounding and i can carry on so what other mediums could you blend these with then the oil, or what the oil pastels yeah. Yeah. once you put the oil pastels down it's very hard sometimes to they would act like a resist I so see. if i watercolored over this now mm -hmm. they would act like a resist the watercolor wouldn't always sit on top of it okay that's the only thing that's why if i'm going to use the oil pastels in my work i always seem to do it you know towards the end yes if that makes sense so i've got that along the side let's go for i can do a little bit darker mm -hmm. and do an add from there so we've now like you said we've grounded it and it's Beautiful. gone from there but i'm just going to quickly if it's too much go back over okay Let's see this effect. That'll be great. Yes, that looks great. So you, you've now got that. If it doesn't work again, mm. you can let, you can lay the oil pastels on top of each other, and suddenly you, you've got from what was a splodge on a paper right. a little bit of doodling. Yeah, we've used near enough everything that we could of on the show. 
It's fantastic. Thank you, because we are running out <laughs> oh, of time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's been great. It's been so nice to see it grow. So on screen, the oil pastels, £22.09. That is a £16.90 saving if you're a Freedom member. 641261. But of course, um, just quickly to finish off, we'll have a look at the one day special. So this was the foundation of that beautiful piece, mm. wasn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I just, I just think it's such a great pad. Now, just before we go through, finally, what you get in the one day special, the winner of the Ecoline pens is Jane Dyke and we'll pop your name at the bottom of the screen. Well done, congratulations. So we'll be in touch, get you, I think or we might already have your details because you've purchased, yes, remote, <laughs> yes, that's what they're saying to me. <laughs> so we've got your customer number, so you'll be getting these for free in the post. So thank you for purchasing. So you too could be in with a chance of winning something on the next live hour, which is the, all oh right, Lottie, our producer just said 8 p.m. when obviously we're back together. We are. And we're back on Freeview. Uh, is um, a cracking, she's saying, those are her words, cracking giveaway. So do have a look. Do you want me to flash them up? Or do you, no, I'm gonna say tune in, I'm tune in for eight o'clock and then you'll see what it is. <laughs> so one day special. Um, what do we get in our lovely one day special then, Lou? Well, we get the 72 paints. Yep. We get two mixing paint palettes. We actually get the watercolor, two watercolor brushes. You've got the sponges either side. Right. But it's portable. Yes. And That's it's on the go. Bit. I'm going to say that they're half pan size. They're intensely rich, as you've Ooh. seen. We can make something darker. We can make something lighter. Um, they work on top of each other beautifully. Yes. You get the four metallics. So good. They're at the bottom the there. The eight fluorescents who are becoming severely becoming my best friends. <laughs> um, and as I said before, it's the gradation of all the colours. Mm. So you can see it. As a, like you're saying, if you're not confident with no, colour, you've got that gradient there. So you could start. Um, if you get your at home what I did was I actually started on the top row and just blended mm. added each color with more and more water and it was beautiful so the top row would create a wonderful sunset We're, oh good idea because you it? would then you know like in the horizon you've got the reds and the purples yeah you've actually got down then to that 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 horizon point mm. and it is it's it's a way to be braver with your watercoloring yeah yeah without actually being a watercolor I mean the piece we produced tonight not real mm. It's all doodled flowers. But it's, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. And, and that's what watercolouring, that's what, well, any form of art, really. It yeah. should be a therapy to enjoy. <laughs> and like we've seen, that you can use so many other products mm. with it. And it's not just this palette that you're getting. You're also getting the mixed media pad, which is A5. Now, for this palette alone, oh, sorry, Jimmy, but for this palette alone, you'd be paying £99. You're not paying that today when you go for the one-day special. Look at this, £58.48 £48 for both of those, and it's on Flexi Freedom. Uh, 711181 is your item number. Very busy for your one-day special. Do call us or check out on the website. Thank you very much, Lou. <laughs> no, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be back together at 8 p.m.